been a pretty wet period over the last seven or eight days with some incessant rain coming down. It's cleared up a little bit, you can see it's quite cloudy around me, but there is a bit of blue sky, which is fantastic news. So we've taken this opportunity to get out into the bush. I know we have been putting out a fair amount of lion content, it's only because that's been the focus over the last little while with we had several females in their dens and whatever action's been going on. I am aware that we need to get some leopard content and the first sighting we've heard about is the Entomi male who's not too far from camp. So we're dashing out now in this little lull in the rain to go and try and get some footage of him and we'll see where it goes from there. So on our way down to the Entomi male, we have to cross through the Mashaben and this is absolute madness to see that it is flowing this strong at this point in the river just shows you how much rainfall we've had in the catchment areas which is the open areas the open grasslands of Londolozi all feeds into here and this is now flowing pretty steadily and if you have a look behind me that side that's unreal just so much water flowing through here we don't want to get too waylaid by this river but it's just incredible to see and definitely Appreciate the amount of water we've had. This is going to hold us pretty well into the winter as the water table is now very high. The ground is absolutely saturated. We've arrived to the Endormi male. He's resting up in the limbs of a pretty large knob thorn. And oh, he's moving. Hold on. He's just repositioning there. You can see his legs now hanging down beneath the branch there. So he's got what looks like a little warthog or warthog piglet kill, which is up on the branches behind him to the left there. It looks as though he's pretty well fed. So I'm sure he must have caught something else in the last couple of days with all of this rain around. Speaking of the rain, I'm pretty reluctant to go driving off-road in here because there's a very high chance we might get stuck. We know exactly how that goes and we don't want to have to wait for Frank or one of the rescue team to come and pull us out. It's great to see the Entomi male, great to see that he's settling into his new independent lifestyle and although he has been seen with his mother a fair amount since he was deemed to be independent. The fact that he's successfully hunting now and able to catch his own food and sustain himself is fantastic news. So it's pretty awesome. He stood up, he spun around and gave off a few yawns showing that he was quite interested in trying to get across to where the water carcass was. And then he leapt from there across the gap up to where the carcass is and is now busy feeding. Looks like it's quite a small piglet so it's not going to last him too long. But I'm sure it's just a matter of time before he then comes down from that tree. That's what we're hoping for now because if he does come down it's very likely that he's going to come down this side of the tree towards us and we'll then have a fantastic view from there. So it appears as though the carcass must have fallen from the tree there because before we knew it he had leapt across onto the other branch and began descending down. And now he's dropped down, he's somewhere in the grass nearby. We can hear him feeding, but can't really get a view of it. So I think we're not going to get too much better than what we've seen already. So let's wrap it up here and take a slow bumble back towards camp and see what we see on the way home. But if you're enjoying these virtual safaris, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment below.
Well, that was a pretty awesome sighting of a couple of zebra with a whole bunch of ox peckers on their back as well as a whole bunch on the floor all dust bathing and that's when they shake themselves in amongst the looser soil on the surface and that's to get some of the dirt in amongst their feathers it helps them soothe their skin as well as remove any ectoparasites or fleas ticks that sort of thing and after a while they then hop back onto the zebra and they're then walking off into the distance there Some amazing light shining through onto the zebra but it looks as though there might be a bit of rain coming through beyond the zebra so let's get ourselves back to camp before that rain hits us are opening. Awesome afternoon light behind me there. Yes, let's get back before our camera gear gets too wet. So it turns out the rain's actually not that bad. We are obviously a little bit wet, but not too bad, not too cold trying to get ourselves back to camp but I couldn't turn down that opportunity to get some footage of those elephants so the lighting on them was magnificent there was a few youngsters around there and so that was where we got caught by the rain however it seems to be calming down a little bit now we're just going past the airstrip we'll be alright to get back to camp and we won't be too wet anymore. 